If you're using Stable Diffusion, have you ever been confused by all of these different models? Which one is good? Which one is bad? What to use? So in this video, I want to look on most popular models, what they're good for, where to use them. And most important, I want to show you the mage space a little bit more in detail of the service and also why it's a plus and minuses of using that service. The mage space, it is an online service that allowed you to generate AI images. Interesting things about this because the main SDXL, Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion 2.1 are free to use. It's absolutely free. It is unlimited. So, however, for the two models, you will need register for the Stable Diffusion 1.5 you don't need it but it's a little bit more in this service and the reason why i'm bringing and i want to actually look a little bit more in depth on mage space for the reason it is provide the most models you can actually try and experiment and also it's have it all this lower models and additional extensions we'll look on them in a second originally i look on a mage space when it just begin and it's nicely to see it is continue exploring and literally weekly weekly and daily times they add more and more different models on site that you do need upgrade plan to the pro plan which is $15 a month if you want to access all of the models if you are on a field when you want to experiment and find new models that you want to use on your local installations I would highly recommend at least take for one month and try it and it's actually what I done because if I'm, when I'm using my stable diffusion local installations, I'll find some very nice models and everything by going to the Sevilla AI website. But however, some right here, the models people posted, you don't know how good they are or lower is hard to, but with the help of Mage AI, I actually can try those models first, play around, see how they perform and download it and use it to one what I can, what I wanted. And this is model already preloaded in the system. So you don't need wait, click and download it. And hopefully everything is work as well with the tons of different lores or other extensions. So what I'm meaning by this, if we select any, um, any model, any except for SDXL, because SDXL, this one does not support it, but any other models, if we enable, you'll notice below you have it tons of tons of different lores available for you you can preload them because it's a very many as well we have it uh, textual inversions as well here uh, some of them very helpful because you can use like negative prompts and everything sometimes hard time copy and paste or find good negative prompts and they're here so you can use them as well and of course it does support control net which is make much more interesting and flexible for you to work with your other images. As well, you can see right here, we have it, our video generators. We can go text to image uh, version two and one, which work very interesting. And I'll show you some examples of this. Okay, so what I done, I went and I create same prompt with uh, different models. And it's literally, it took some time, you know, to render them, to create it. And this is, will be portraits, will be our landscape, same. So we can preview and see which models actually perform better. As well, you can see we have it, some animations um, based with this. And by the way, if you have it, you see right here, two animations. Beside that, you also can still animate if you're going inside the settings. Okay. And in the settings right here, you can see animate. So you can animate with almost any model that is on the list with exception as the Excel, but you can do this. So let's go ahead and first dive into interface, get ourselves a little bit familiar before we jump to all the setting. You'll notice right here, we have it made space on the top. You have it explore and following explore will allow you to go and check all of other creators images. And of course you can set all the properties check down notice right here you can enable nsfw one of the different for this service based uh distinguished from other ones they are allowed nsw so they're allowed nude and everything you need to hide it will blur out but generally you can almost render anything you want it however keep in mind they are by default if you purchase they are private you can set options for them but if they don't they can be public so some of your images can be public just beware of this and of course you have the following on the top 
Otherwise, you have a notification if people follow you, have access to the Discord, and you have access to your basic elements, like, for example, profile, models you want to select, plan that currently use, and it's only two plan, free or $15 a month, which is, I think it's a very reasonable, more than reasonable price for this, because if you'll work with Midjourney, uh, Midjourney plan, it's about $30 to so just stick with this, which is a little bit expensive, and it's a limited on fast hours. You can still render for free on a slow mode, but again, other ones you need to do this. Okay, and of course your Twitter, all these additional settings. Okay, this is your basic. Mostly what interesting for us, it is when you start creating. So for this, you want to go to your front page. And this is screen, what do you see? You'll notice on the top it where you normally type your prompt. You also have a button if you want to price yes, no. You have it upload images, which you're going to use if you utilizing control net or any other image reference style and render below you'll have it things to hide one you can notice you have right here select models clear help animate so let's go ahead and click on select model as we expanding you'll notice right under you have this button that pop up easy mode and advanced even advanced mode may be first scared i do recommend for you to click on advanced mode this way you will have access to all settings that are available for you I'll just uncheck, be sure it's set in advanced mode. Also notice right here, we don't have too much stuff on the bottom because we select SDXL model. Let's go ahead and select some different ones. As we select different model, you'll notice we'll start having more information below, which is included different lore. And lore, if you think about this, it is add additional information to the model you're currently using. So. In some cases, simplicity, what I can explain, the different models train on different style. For example, you need to specify some model to specific style you want it. If I want abstract picture, I want to find the artist who does abstract. And if I ask him, can you draw realistic landscape? They probably could, but it won't be very good. And the same with the models. It's the reason why you want specific model that pre-train on specific style so you can achieve the best result. And right here, for example, you have an anime type. You have an analog, realistic portraits. Beautiful. So we'll look on all of this. Laura help also add additional stylizations to those models that we're going to use. And you can overthink, you can see, for example, logo tips. We can add and says, hey, with this style, I want to create logos. And this is expand, help us creating. You can select a multiple lower at the same time. Notice when you select, they come going like around orange color. It's meaning I select. If you select too many of them, it's come up error on the bottom and says, hey, you select too many lowers. So let's go ahead and uncheck them for now. And below you have it layer textual inversions. You can use it them to, for example, right here, you see bad quality negative prompt to implement some negative prompts, for example, like broken hands, too many fingers, all this stuff, as well, additional stylization, double exposure, and more. You can actually go into over this and it's very vast collection of these elements. You can go over the different stylizations. You can click load more and go over. So it's way more of a different. And it's probably take hours and hours for us to just go through all of this. On so this case, I will allow you to go and just explore, see what you can find here. Below, we have it our control net and control net. We have it canning, which just goes side more kind of like um, outline type if you think edge detection Photoshop so it does this way we have it also pose control nets this is just will analyze the pose and put it this one head depth if you need remove backgrounds and normal control so this is kind of like your basic the control net if you're interested more what the control net can do I would recommend you to go see my other videos where we're using control net with stable diffusion and we go a little bit more in details how and what control net can do of course to select you can easy you can go select a model on top notice as below Laura will preload it the more compatible of the models we can go and check uh, search for any lore specifically to this or select stylization down below we can go to textual inversion as well select 
and let's go in this case we'll just go up front and select like easy negative so remove this one as well we if we want to use it right now i don't have it any model to reference so we won't go use the image by image and we'll just go try this and it's a bunny fighting against the robots before we click let's go to the settings and in the settings we have it um well organized system so we have it our aspect ratio and this pre default you cannot actually put it your um flexible ratio but this is very nice you have it see your cinematic and opposite you have it phone so you have vertical or horizontal depend where you want to put it and they're going a little bit more to the word the square landscape computer and square so they're kind of going from center to more widescreen availability the steps by default on the 20 uh, many models actually kind of ask to work with the 35 steps so usually I'm going on a high level of the step when I'm doing but you can adjust by the way you can adjust only steps if you are paying if you have a premium account with a free account I think you just lock only to the 20 steps which is still produce very good result so we can go to the high a little bit here guidance how closer you want to be more flexible or more adjustable in some cases the actual I think 6 6.5 it's what again most models recommended and if you have a question about what models recommended in most cases you can go to the Civit AI website find the model what they're using because it's what they are utilizing public models and in many models information if you scroll down right you will find like in this case you can see recommended 60 steps CFG from 3 to 10, sampler to MDMP as a car. So you can see all the information that you're using. And again, in, if you're going here, you'll notice right there with what we wanted guidance. We don't need to worry about this. Our negative prompt is much easier because we're using the um, Im embedded prompt. And there is where our schedulers, what they call schedulers, or other things we can select. So we can have it. For example, KMDM or DMP, cars, you can select whatever the recommend type of this. And let's just say square and we'll go ahead creating this one. As a premium member, you also have access to faster GPU. So time of the render will be quite a bit fast. And as you don't need just wait on this image, with a premium account, you have access to the multi-session so you can create at the same time you can open multiple tabs and run them in parallel on a multiple uh, elements and that's what many times i do i open different tabs for the mage space and run those images or with the prompts in different one to play at the same time this work for everything except animations because animations is more extensive then it will kind of lock and you can run only one time let's look right here what do we have this is our image well, I don't see how Bun is joining, but again, you remember we was using anime style and we're using special Laura. So this is kind of will narrow it down to the specific elements and we have it our enhance. We have it rerun so we can rerun this image. You will notice also rerun will be on the gallery. So when people put it uh, posted public images out, you can actually open and use it that prompt in your own um, instance we have the remix with other ones so the image if we need it prompt make it public currently I don't think it's enabled as a public by default we'll look in a second next we have a delete and we have it all of these informations you have your download and everything okay let's go just click right there and go down and see right there yep see it is enabled privately so when you click out of image image disappear but it is still be inside your profile page. So you can go on your profile page, open, and you still have access to this image. Same, you have options inside, exactly same as before. You can rerun, you can remix the image. So if for some reason you forgot the name that you're going to use it, or prompt, you can go open, just click rerun, and it will reopen and run it again. Okay, this will kind of a very fast nutshell how to use it it's very simple but at the same time it's provide a lot of flexibility so let's go ahead and look a little bit more on the models what we have it first 
SDXL model. It is really impressive. Um, Check pointer model was released recently. The quality and how it's work, it's very, very impressive. If you're not familiar how the techniques behind, this is not just a pre-trained model. This is total, not total different, but it is enhanced approach because they can compress now a much smaller model. They can compact them to get a more reference and then they can create them small, re-upscale them and create image. I mean, this is very interesting how it's work. Okay, next we have a stable diffusion and SDXL. If we're going to look in a profile, let's scroll down and see what we have. Okay, so let's go ahead and first look on our SDXL. We'll look in our profile and you notice the quality of this is stunning. It is very impressive how it's work on detailizations, everything. And this is just what I was playing around, trying to mess up with this. And it is actually recovering very well if you look on image reflection, everything a very, very stunning result to produce. Okay, the next we have our standard stable diffusion one and two. So let's go ahead back to our profile. Here you can see it is 1.5 version. It is a face a little bit distorted, everything. Um, I don't know whoever, if you're still using 1.5, it's maybe still okay for some landscapes, some creative interesting things, but general, I think. Um, this is more just look on the retro how horrible it was. Okay, we have it 2.1. Notice when we do widescreen, it's a duplicated because it's still rendering 512 by 512 in merge together. So this is you will have a very common problem on the older merge uh, versions of the models till you upgrade it till it's the start fixing this resolutions on this train pre trained resolution. So this is very common. Next, you can see right here is our animations, what we created, and it does actually work very interesting. Again, this is, was on, I think, what is model text to image version two specifically model. It does create very smooth animations. We'll look a little bit more on the animations later. This is text to GF. Another animations was created. Um, in some cases, there you go. Another text to GF version two, smoother, a little bit not saturated okay if we look on our model next what we have it it will be let's skip those to absolute reality and the interesting things about some models depend on what you're using they will give a different result sometimes you maybe need to adjust add Laura or adjust the text prompt but right here absolute reality it does produce kind of interesting clean effect I think the general on the face but it it's not as the Excel but use of the lores and embeddings will help a lot. Okay, sometimes if you're using animations, you'll notice on the bottom you have it. Okay, let me select these ones. And if we look down, you have it animate option. And the problem is some animate options does not work well with some models. They are saying it is provide, but it is requires some experimental. For example, right here I was using version 1.5 of Stable Diffusion and put as animate, same things, beautiful queen, what you said before. And I don't know, this is maybe too close to the queen, but it's look kind of funny. It's what produced for us this animation. Now also one thing I noticed the screens was a little bit small. So we're going on top options and let's pop them up. So they will be a little bit larger. And this is how you also can modify some of your um, previews. If you need it, you just click on that area expand and you can select um, additional options like select preloaded multiple select and all that stuff but this is also will increase our preview area i think three will work fine okay so the one thing only when we look on all those images what i don't like it i wish they had like model also display but we have it access we can actually can make it much easy if we're going up on the top right here and we're going to let's increase a little bit size so we'll just pop up about other way about this way okay i think that will work nice and on our options right here you'll notice when we click we have different models so this way we can very easy just scroll through different models and preview let's go click on anything and right here you can see same model before it's what we was using but definitely the queen does not kind of come up very well 
and also what I did it just to the compare not for the faces we also have it a landscape cyberpunk city this is most common one that creating and if you notice the one model this is what we're using our it is horizontal wide screen um, it's nice for cinematic other things the other ones more strain on a square and that's what I was done it's pre-create for the landscape the basic model most of them will create it in a square so this is anything let's go realism engine again it does very nice I do like the model train on little bit reflections nicely but we do have a problem with the double facing and this is because again it's model probably pre-trained 512 by 512 okay mental pastel very nice on a face creation we do have a little distortions but a landscape look nice. I do like, I think it's provided a little bit more details than other model before this. Okay, tune you. And notice on the tune you, I also was using this. Try to click on animate, see how much of the consistency of similarity between. And you can see preview right here. It does create anime, very nice look. I do like the this model, how it's pre-trained. And general animations was come up not bad either as well. And of course, our environmental look very nice, anime pre trained way. Okay, let's go to Dream Shaper. Dream Shaper before was one of the top models for realistic portraits. It still performed very well. We have a, do have some distortions on symmetry, but overall okay. And complexity and detailizations on the landscape, it's better. You notice on the people and an amount of the teeny tiny details as was added. Okay, let's go on next. I see BNN right there. Oh, beautiful on the face again. Little bit distortion. This is happen again because it is 512 pre trained model. They do fix problems on a double facing, but we do have this artifacts on the side effect as well. Realistic vision verse 2, a little bit better. Nice again. Landscapes in many cases will look somewhat similar. We'll just need to check for the details and other amount as it's pre trained. Then notice if the some models they pre trained mostly for the portraits they will have it some landscape in but they're not specialized on this okay red shift and i did play with this a little bit more because notice on the face it give it a very interesting close-up very beautiful texture on the skin but for the our queen it does not necessarily produce properly i don't think it does have enough information for this um and same landscape it's a little bit more simplified landscape it still does not look bad but it's more simplified and this is image by the way i was playing around a little bit more with the when it was much less models now they have so many models it's kind of awesome okay stable gram again more primitive model i think in this case including render of the face and the landscape tunify simplicity they have multiple models if you look on the models for the tunes you can find right here it's have it multiple anything lower they have it uh, another anime let's go down more here this more anime models it's plenty it's very popular subject right here again some anime models it's many of them some of them perform a little bit better on different stylization I think right here outline a little bit heavy and a little bit more flat in the cell shading, but it does provide very nice base if you want to vectorize. So in this case, if you're using this model for the like logos or other things, that will work very good to take after, put it in another application and vectorizing this. Okay, let's go next, same vector art. And you can see right here, we're creating, this is way more simplicity, um, what is creating on a vector art, but in some cases, I think um, Turnify will perform better double exposure i found this kind of fun to play they do have it another options so you can use laura for double exposure as well but this is based on the model work interesting on the faces landscape is just very basic landscape and i think it's a little bit too noisy actually for the landscape us creating okay we have our normal stable diffusion one which will look before and you're probably very familiar with this let's go like beautiful realistic so the faces every time when i tried even before you can notice it's have a high highlight so it's not bad it's producing but it is i think still be on a level of the stable diffusion 1.5 uh, same as a landscape dream shaper was very popular at one time because it does have it 
nice emotions, nice on these models, as well detailizations in our landscape provide a lot of small details add. So this is another very good model, very fun to work with. Um, if you have a little bit more questions about, they do have the explanations below what is it? fine tune or whatever as well. It will tell you what stylization like 3D art, anime. In some case, you may say photorealism. And if model uh, like NSFW kind of warn you, you may have some additional pre-trained stuff. So you need to pay attention a little bit more to this. Uh, learn more. It is just give it a blank screen. It's not yet over. It's populated with anything. So normally you just leave can read on the top what is producing. But I think the best if you try find model, just render, see how it's work. Okay, so this is our dream shape, uh, dream shaper, Dutch hate right there, beautiful face, and same with this. This is a little bit more complex model, and you can see definitely in the renders of the landscape and portraits as well. We have a little bit more dark side. I think this model is pre-trained on more greenish kind of darker elements, and you can definitely see between one before the art see how it's a little bit even the lights a little bit brighter and a dark side give it us a little bit more uh, darker <laughs> but it is it's provide actually very nice effect this one okay let's go next we have a beauty realistic very nice they don't have it um log removal so on this one you actually i recommend to use a special um exclusions there when we're going to textural exclusions, which is says that remove logos and everything. So if we apply it, it will remove this one. But it is a little bit primitive. It does not have a very complex pre-trained model for the landscape. The faces actually come up very interesting and very nice expression. Okay, that's cool. This one definitely animation. I mean, this backdrop by itself, it's like any good anime movie backdrops. And when you do animations, you can separately have it like backdrop animated and facial. And look on this face, it's very nice. I think this is one of the very good interesting anime style model. Okay, we have some another version of this. Similar things, a little bit more complex and digitalizations, maybe on the background. And again, this is that version with that seed. If you use a different seed, you may have a different effect. And a nice complexity. I do like the symmetry, even they put it on the face, you can see right here. And add more effect to this okay let's go ahead next we'll go to the ghost mix this is definitely a bit older notice most time older model you can re uh, recognize by doubling faces when you go with wide screen because it is 512 by 512 and they don't have it any fix for the single face but the landscape overall look interesting and obviously they have more details for the landscapes in this way laurel nice beautiful almost look like a retro kind of you know painting which is not facial this is very nice model um creating i do like backdrop right here it's actually create very interesting effect on this hasan is one of the most popular model was at one time um and you can see i was playing with this a little bit more right here is a portion on this i uh, just keep in mind this model is nsf so you need kind of specify if you don't want it some of those elements pop up he again double faces this is i did not even another case when i was playing a little bit more i did not have a good kind of output on this model maybe you needed to implement with more lores but all this right here you can see we have it mutants with three ices uh background it's it's okay but it's not stunning f222 same problem with the faces you can see double faces creating in some cases like right here was experiment and add multiple faces so again definitely it is maybe work in specific area but it is an older model okay double exposure we should have a double exposure happen and there you go we have a two-phase double exposure and the landscape look actually very interesting added to our effect okay that's her journey again another double exposure and they're recognizing all the 1.5 models most likely it's what based on and same landscape it's cleaner but it does not have this haze or rain so it does not have these layers it's what define the new models you will have these layers how it will render with okay same golden live which is a little bit more primitive reducing on detailization so now we can see definitely on the faces it's what happening here okay let's go in menti mix 
the face is very nice i do like how it's produced have it a little bit broken in the lines but generally it is nice anime style okay a little mix and this is kind of very interesting because what has happened here I was using somebody else stylization add a laura to this just see how it's work but what we want to focus on these two images one is with portraits again double faces here and I think this is very simplified type of the landscape. We do have it neon signs it was asking for, but we don't have it too many detailizations or add to this. So it's a very simple, simplicity model, I think, in this case. UHD. And I don't know what a sponge face. I don't know what I this one model maybe I needed to explore a little bit more, see what this does, but the result does not look very encouraging at the first. If I mix this has become a little bit more interesting alien and it's Mars Queen of the Mars so it's kind of interesting it's more have it obviously data about aliens right here and we can see on complexity with neon lights on our path by the way if you're interested okay we can uh, let me uncheck this one we can look on that a little bit more later okay so let me extend it here go to model Firefo. this is another very popular model was using and it's nice using in some animations but general uh i never have a good effect maybe i'm missing something right there so if i do let me know because i know a lot of people like this model but you can see it is uh, like nightmare almost so i don't know tune you another one i was using for the trying animations just see how consistent it is because i do like how the single image come up very nicely done very anime style and does produce we can see losing consistency so it's not necessarily very stable but it does not have a flickering um and need more anim kind of playing with animations problem with animations take some time so it's take a little bit time to render but generally you can see you have it very fun and it is general one and two about two seconds of animations i think landscape is a simple again anime style Okay, let's go down oh we have a lot to go okay any laura same using for the try of animations background and we can see right here is our face for some reasons give it a black and white with some coloring not bad face animations is very blurry not sharpness does not add and problem with the render on a service you don't have the ability to add like sharpness we can pop up probably steps and this may increase sharpness on animations but again you can see how blurry it is and background is nothing special about this and after nice beautiful digitalization of portraits and as well background look on these details details what i was meaning it's not simple streets you see those boxes on the side some other elements right here this is very complex actually render on background this is real nicely um detail detail background as well as the face so this is model definitely trained with high resolution images and with a very good processing so overall i think this is metal art kind of very nice one let's go with a retro look again similar what other similar model duck can provide but only a little bit more um fuzzy it, it is nice solid model okay stable diffusion 2.1 i think we'll look on this before but you can see right here we have our model of queen and as well neon light cyberpunk city okay pastel dream anime pastel dream another things that i try with animations you can see we do have it some interesting i don't know about consistency we start losing consistency after this frame um it does need require some more negative prompts because right there you can see it's cut off eyes we're just focusing on the neck it, it seems like a little bit model need more exploration in this case anything version 3 this is model was for some time my favorite to create anime style and does provide nice face simple animation except right there you can see we have some glitch in the rendering same as background and of course our image we created with anime style okay let's go to a beret which is nice face i mean this is a realistic face street look realistic but it's missing some of the utilization if you remember before when we saw how interesting can look this is um real life boring image i don't know what we can say in this K 
okay, collage diffusion. This is when you take different image and collage together. Um, you could you could have a very interesting effect, but generally it just uh, um, interesting toy to play. I don't know if you have any realistic use for this one as more theoretical model, I think. Okay, consistent factor. Let's go right there. Look, I like how they add planet. This is very interesting model to create as well. It's a nice little bit, not as detailed, but still very nice. Also environmental render. Okay, dream full. Same with the model. Um, model pre-trained, but you notice right there we have it problem is pushing on a side and this is probably because model is 512 but it does have some recovery on the double faces but it's still pushing to the side same with landscape it does produce nice look on the city let's go to next okay that one you can see I was using a little bit more but same we can see on the places nice center faces so it is nice pre-trained model and a landscape a little bit what I ask a little bit boring, but I think rain and other ones produce. Also, I was asking like for wet ground or wet road, and you can see it does produce actually very well on this. Okay, let's go ahead. Magic mix realistic. This definitely a backdrop kind of try to add details, but not cleaning, so a little bit messy, but it's look nice, rainy, and a face look more to, more realistic. Absolute reality. That one is very interesting because try experiment with different model, even like create real model, everything. Um, the distortion on the faces sometimes it do happen in far away. The background scene seems like the standard and animations as blurry a little bit. I think it's 20 steps only creating. But generally you can see right here we try first, remove it and add a little bit more on the facial and it's look okay. It's not bad actually, but um, nice option. Any Laura enemy? Definitely, this is our enemy. Look straightforward with nice outline. It's not as heavy outline as some other ones producing, but it is look very interesting. Again, notice what it, when we create background, almost any enemy pre-trained model will create for you kind of soft background and a hard line, very cell shaded portraits on a few models which will produce somewhat similar effect and this is still when we start creating for example um, combine images if they are background and soft and model then we'll start having a little bit problem with this okay jailbreak 2 another popular model I'm using quite a bit in my stable diffusion local installations and you can see it does provide very interesting somewhat realistic portraits and background it's not as high detail but it's very solid and nicely done okay another hour doctor and journey 512 definitely because we have a double faces but background have more details and look very interesting okay this is our niji which is more for the anime style of this and we definitely can see a little bit more drawing anime and this is what i said it is background multi-layering you can see we have details but we also have an overlay of the rain and everything this is required a little bit higher pre-trained model to create this type of effect so to create all this natural um, effect as well we have a nice reflections of the cars or even on the ground so it does do a very good job as well, if we look on a portrait, you have it in one earrings right here. Look on this detailization, so it does add quite a bit. So tell me this model, it's have a lot of very nice high resolution pre-trained. Well, okay, we're almost two thirds in. We'll try to go a little bit faster. So right here is our sub realistic background. Compare even to other ones, you can see it's a little bit more primitive, but it's beautiful work on a face, how it's done. Okay, another Niji model and you notice as anime we have it very nice right there on detailizations done on the background so very good job as well I do like the shadow highlights and contrast on this face on the model it did have it provide very nice creating so this is another very interesting model for us mental hentai we'll look on this before a little bit but same we have these backgrounds this is very anime style backgrounds uh, simple but the you can see them maybe in the Akira or other ones, classic, I can see those backgrounds. And of course we have the our facial with a very hard cell shaded. Unreal. This is 
similar what we have it now we have it on a little bit more dimension in 3d rendering so it's a little bit more um the gradients going between shadow and highlights which is provide this kind of less flattened look for us and the same we can say about background hd version 2 so this is upgraded version and we still have this kind of spongy i don't know what is maybe i should do like spongebob it will probably look very good on this one okay let's go to open journey and open journey it's very interesting because the original it was the try says hey it's a free mid journey and it was creating some models it does provide high details if you look right here on a portrait um again 512 but despite this you can see a lot of detail on this model it does provide very beautiful renders same as the background is more complex uh, but it is missing additional steps and pre-training because you can see how many broken lines going and everything so this is heavily needed a negative prompt for this when you do it and that's what happened with some models you can achieve way better quality when you're using negative prompts with this this is without negative prompts and we can see brook line on a street it does look interesting but it is very um chaotic in some cases okay perfect world this is great black and white very simplicity but it is interesting model okay let's go next Hasaki, another one interesting model and you can see i was playing with these creating models uh faces have it some little bit distortion this is like a little bit but generally it is nice anime kind of model okay an anime very this is basic anime model again very solid and many of them they probably focus more on a specific models that I not yet covered here or catch is probably on specific characters, specific styles. But generally, again, those anime models, they're usually very stable and they've done a very good job. Okay, let's go with analog. And analog is supposed to provide interesting image like old camera. And you can see right here, this is our, our queen. Notice this, it does not look like a queen of the Mars, but it does provide a very beautiful face. And it does provide pre-trained like all analog cameras if you have it. I think this is what focus on this. It's creating those analog kind of effect. Okay, dark to mix colorful. And this is this is very nice. Look at this. This is actually was using with special exclusion and a stylization on there. But general, this is not bad. It's nice portraits we have it here. Uh, we still need it apply there. I see a little bit of the logo so we need to raise this street general look nice and clean but it's not high detail like some other models ghost mix version 2 okay this is what tried pre-trained model let's look down what we have here this is our mars dual model uh dual headed one um it does implement try red i think some the reference to the mars may be red but the street look stunning i mean if you look on this street it is look very very good as a background so this is our ghost mix as well some of the model not related to the queen but it was trying to play around with different stylization you can see it's come up actually not bad at all lifelike oh it's it is it's look very lifelike if you look on this image it's very easy can pass as a photo very well done same as with the street look very realistic look on this even ground have a very nice effect yeah i think this is it is ms and we can see this is a little bit more anime type style nice clean um effect and i think this is more going towards this kind of style anime on this case okay stable diffusion 2 1 we saw this before i think and it's definitely have a stable diffusion feel but mm, i think sdxl destroyed everything almost you know it's in a good way okay ppp model same simplicity almost art alike right there you can see it is um, this dreamy style anime can create it pfg okay there's our queen and our backdrop so we can see it's created very interesting so i did the experiment a little bit more with the different models and but faces does not necessarily apply very well in some cases okay realistic vision it's a model look this is like a queen of mars something and this is actually very good but background does not look nice and we have it right there distortions of the in the um, pre-processing of the noise 
synthetic wave. This I had fun with that before because this is very look on this. This is very interesting stylizations on that. And some of these models that I try here, at later I took it and I actually put it inside my stable diffusion. Um, okay, inside my stable diffusion model, so I can reuse them there. Okay, let's go back to our reuse because we need to finish this one. Uzi, very nice background, almost like painting. You can see the strokes and the face is very standard, so it's very nice done. Deliberate, another one, look before. And you can see the model creating, again, this is artifacts on the face. It's probably tried to recover from 512 model. And it's very simple, primitive. Like I said, this model was popular at one time and I'm still using quite a bit for specific. Grapefruit, a very interesting model. Does create very good model. Uh, anime, be careful with uh, some effect. You want to be sure using a lot of negative prompts or you end up with this like triple arms. Some very not nice looking images, but general, it these provide a nice anime effect. Okay, here's a liberty. Look on this. That is actually provide very stunning faces as a render. So this is interesting model to experiment, but you can see the realism and very nice pre-train. Okay, portrait plus definitely going for the portrait, but you can see when I try different, it's do doubling. Um, we can avoid this with the uh, inclusion of the loras maybe or other things, but generally it is a little bit older model and you can easily tell. I think it's almost like focus kind of does better with these brush strokes or some illustrations. Okay. The default, this is nice basic model, um, nice background, but I don't see anything like, wow, RPG. This is one of the, my favorite, favorite, favorite model, except they have the RPG 2 now, and this is still process kind of very nice images, but RPG original was a little bit old with 512. Okay, 3D cartoons. This one, I kind of like it because I create different models and you can see they come up with really like 3D cartoons. So that's actually great. Very nice models if you want in the stable and this very solid model for this. Except right here, you can see what's happening when the landscape, it's tried to split and it's tell me probably this model was trained 768 by 512. So it's not a 512 by 512. This is more vertical or horizontal model. So you'll have better work if you do like those types of the landscapes of portraits and not a square. So this is newer model. Okay, die counting superior. Same problem here. We can see it is definitely pre-trained. Mostly you can see when we have a 512 in a split like this, it is probably model was more horizontal. Seven, uh, 768 by 512 probably um, was trained on. So this has happened here. Okay, it's mixed relic. I don't know what this one. Okay, that one, they look somewhat realistic. Nice detailizations on the background. So it is have a very pre-trained model as well as the portrait and face look very nice and solid. Okay, beauty realistic other one. The background looks somewhat real. Actually it does, it's like a very nice model. So I'm just looking on placement, nice detailizations on everything. And a portrait look a little bit over, um, I don't know. It does not look so realistic, but it is look as interesting style. Again, those ones, definitely portraits need to play a little bit more with detailizations and other things. Sadachi, let's look on this. This is anime style and definitely this is have a very harsh effect. I do like highlights. So this is pre-trained model probably for this. We can look a little bit more on that. Okay, X mixed version three. This is another one. Definitely it's have some alien effect right here. You can look on a skin, but it is going with anime style so we can anything. I'm kind of wonder what a style this one come up because this is pop up already second time look very similar to another. I think it's just pre-trained. Okay, Dreamfall version three, similar. And I think the Mars always this redness that try to upset and same background, very standard. Okay, revision and made it. Ooh, this is beautiful portrait look on it. Okay, so let's finish this stuff. And I appreciate you sticking so long with me. We have so many models to look on this. Hopefully it will help you to review this. Okay, now epic realism. I'll look on the skin. Skin is look very nice on this model. And a road. So I think the utilizations on this is very good. Okay, next realistic vision version three. 
Um, too realistic. <laughs> we have a lot of wrinkles. Wow, I think this is most interesting face I saw here by utilizations. And as well, we look on the utilization on the street. You can see a lot of like people. Okay, I think this is model is very interesting on a training. It's have a lot, a lot of details. And uh, this was definitely need to explore a little bit more on this model. Okay, we have it duck in classic anime. So this is anime style. This is actually beautiful anime. Instead, have it very flat. If you remember, cell shaded. This is actually have it a little bit more gradients inside the coloring, which is produced, and it's better matching with the background. Look on this. So this is definitely um, classic anime work. Very nice. Okay, new editing and dream. We have it right here with the image. A little bit blurry, not enough detailization. Seems like they're using a little bit lower resolutions on the training. And this is what make it different. Um, if you see higher resolution, how de higher detail on image when it's rendered on model, it's meaning they was using higher images with higher resolution to train to develop the data. That usually take much longer to create you need to have a better images and everything and more prepared. So that's what make model better. In some cases, when you see a little bit more less details, in many cases, it's because data, which is a reference to our model, does not have the sum of those detailizations. Of course, many of this can be fixed with the additions of the LoRa and most important with the properly the prompt. If you add more in the prompt and negative prompt, you can actually create better because it will go through all these models and work in it. So there, usually it is kind of say number one, I say how well it's trained model, but after this we'll go out with a prompt and with all additional elements to increasing. Okay, next we have a Dutch dream world. Let's look on this. Woo, the face is like smash against windows, but landscape look, it does not go, I don't think it's have the information about what I was trying to put sci-fi, but it's try very heavy to add some elements. So we'll see kind of weird dream world. I don't know what it's about. Okay, mental mix. Oh, beautiful look on that. The animes look very nice. I do like it how it is created. Um, beautiful anime and same with the street. It's not very high detailizations look like painting, but it does create very nice anime look. And last but best RPM. So let's see if it's the best. Now it did create some models, but street is simple. That's not bad portion, but they look right there. This animus is not bad. It's creating those elements. So I think general, if we look on the mage spaces, provide a lot of models. And we, with you, we gone through all of these models. You can see how many you can create it. And what plus to this, you also have it all this additional lores that may change look like right here line art we can over put it other stuff and we have a textual inversions as well to add negative prompts if we need it or we can add additional elements positioning other things so i think overall the mage space is excellent place to explore for you to find what models you like it what um the lores or other than versions you like it before you actually download it and what i do usually what usually what i'm done i go right there I find model that I like here. Going back to the Civic AI, yeah, find this model is where most of them will have it. Download it and use it on my local installation. So in this case, you don't need to pay every month for using Mage Space. You can still use your local installations, but then you'll find what the best models work. And tell you the truth, these guys done excellent job by monitoring what is new model coming. They're updating them constantly, and of course animate you can go and pre-animate i wish they had a little bit more than two seconds that allowed me to create a little bit longer but for now that is will work nice to test see again how that will work thank you for watching this videos it's very long video and thank you for you to stick around to see um if you like it please give us thumbs up subscribe do all this stuff your support is greatly appreciated and again thank you very much and uh, for your support